This is a brief introduction to tissues. So cells are the basic unit of structure and function within living organisms. Cells are then organized into groups called tissues. Tissues share a common cell structure and a common function. When we look at tissues, there are three dimensional units. So they have length, width, and height or depth, but they are often shown in slices. So if we look at this example of stratified squamous epithelial tissue, you'll see in the left in diagram A, it is a three-dimensional structure. However, when you look at the microscope picture on the right in figure B, you'll see that it is just a slice of that. Histology is the microscopic study of tissues, and it looks both at structure and at function. Histology studies many aspects of the tissue, specifically its appearance and its organization and its function. Studying tissues is very important for many reasons. Uh, firstly, tissues form organs. So if we learn more about the tissues, we can learn more about the organs. It's very important to study tissue in order to understand disease and dysfunction. So by looking at um, organs, tissues, um, we can understand better what's causing the problem. We can look at what a normal tissue should look like and therefore how a normal organ should function. And then we can look at what this person's tissue does look like and why that may be causing dysfunction within the organ or why a specific disease may be causing the tissue to look or act differently. Additionally, um, through histology, we are able to have many research applications. For example, when studying stem cells, we can use them um, for advances in medicine. We can also better understand diseases such as cancer through researching the tissues um, in someone with these diseases. There are four types of tissue, epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. There are many different types of each of these kinds of tissues and they all four have different functions. And so those will be separate screencasts.